Jimmy Mizzen's father speaking there. A London medical ethics expert has criticised the sale of over-the-counter DNA paternity tests as irresponsible and potentially damaging to children. The kits went on sale at a pharmacy chain in East London today, as Sarah Harris reports. This box could hold the answer to your baby's paternity and you can buy the DNA kit over the counter as a hackney chemist. It's one of the first places in the UK to stock the test in a shop and they expect demand to be as high here as it has been in America. What we're providing is uh, indisputable answers to emotive questions um, and people have the right to be able to get these answers. They don't have to buy the product, it's their choice, it's a product of choice but uh, hopefully what we can provide uh, is information that, that, that settles on unanswered questions. So this is what you get when you pay £30 here at the counter. It's basically a box inside it. You've got some paperwork and three swab sticks like this. And the idea is mum, dad and child all give it a good rub on the inside of their mouth like that. Send it away. It's going to cost you another £119 to get it processed. But whatever the cost, one leading ethics organisation says the information can only damage children. I don't think children are going to be sufficiently protected in this instance. These tests are not being done for the benefit of children and they will inevitably be done without the child's consent. It's simply not for medical reasons but for disputing warring couples who the father in, the, in question wants to either accept or reject the child. But during a four-week trial of the DNA kit at the Clockwork Pharmacy in Hackney, managers claim to have laid to rest concerns of one child who felt she didn't look like her siblings. One of the daughters was completely distraught because she thought that uh, this wasn't her mum. Uh, we did the DNA test for them and uh, five days later they all came back and everything was brilliant because she, you know, we could prove, because there was 15 match out of 15, and we could prove that that, in fact, was her daughter. Counselling is available at the chemist if results are negative, but critics say that's not enough for vulnerable children who could have their lives turned upside down. Sarah Harris, BBC London News. Well, with me now is Alex Borchard from the charity Families Need Fathers, who took a paternity test himself a few years ago. Thank you for coming in. And I understand your paternity test was ordered by a court during a divorce. If this had been available at the time for you, would you have considered uh, buying and taking an over-the-counter paternity test? Kit? Absolutely not. I wouldn't do it any differently at all. Um, as a charity, we try to help people avoid using the courts as much as possible. But there are some cases where you have to do it the official way. And these over-the-counter paternity tests, one of the concerns I've got is that it doesn't actually stand up in court it can't be used as an official result and I think if a paternity test is going to be done it's got to be done with a court order it's going to be done the traditional proper way. Now in your view can buying and using one of these uh, over-the-counter paternity kits ever be in the best interests of the child what I'm thinking for example is if a child finds out later uh, you know that uh, the father that she thought was her father wasn't uh, is it better to ever find out now? I think in virtually all cases it would be against the interests of the child. Uh, the whole way in which the DNA test is taken, the swabs are taken, it really ought to be done by a professional. A GP would be trained how to take the swab and how to explain it to the child. What's a, a father at home going to say to his, his child or suspected child if he's asking to take a, a mouth swab? I think in a lot of cases it's going to be used to, to actually turn uh, children against, against parents and it's actually going to work against their interests rather than helping. So you're saying that the emotional sort of consequences uh, outweigh the benefits. Absolutely. Uh, given your experience, uh, what is your advice to anyone thinking of buying and using uh, one of these over-the-counter paternity tests? I would suggest in any case it would be a good idea to take some professional advice. Uh, although this, this can be done without having to go to court, it makes sense to get some legal advice. And also I think some counselling as well. It's, it's, good, it's better to be prepared properly for, for this happening. Okay, Alex Borchard, many thanks for coming in and sharing your experience. Thank you.